Hello. Today we are going to do some questionable coding for leap code task code single number. Uh, the task states that uh, given a non-empty array of integers, every element appears twice except for one. Find that single one. And there are a couple of limit limitations. The first one is your algorithm should have a linear runtime complexity, which is kind of expected because uh, if we have an unordered array, probably we'll have to uh, go through it at least once. And another limitation is, is trickier. It asks us to implement it without using extra memory. We will uh, park it for now. So we'll start with uh, the first solution, which requires sets, and then we'll go uh, to our ideal solution that requires exclusive or. That will be a nice one. So how can we solve it with set? Let's first create an empty set. Then we'll go through uh, the entire nums array, and for every number, we'll check if it's not in the set, we'll add it. If it's already in the set, we will remove it from the set. So every pair will eliminate itself, and we'll get only one number in the end, which didn't have a pair, of course. Let's use a for loop here. Mm, nums links and i plus plus basic loop and then we'll check set has nums i in that case we need to remove it in fact delete it uh, and because in, in case of set we use delete function and otherwise we will add it And now we just need to return the value, which is a bit tricky because we're using a set. So we need set values, which will return an iterator. We'll pick the first element of the iterator. It's like an entry, an object, and we need a value from there. So that will be it. Let's submit it. Yeah, it works. Now let's estimate the time and space complexity. So time O, big O uh, from N, so it's linear. We uh, need to go through the array uh, for one time, yeah. And for space, it's a bit trickier. It's big O of N uh, divided by half, maybe plus one in the worst case, uh, because we have, um, we can have like half of nums in the set at the very, um, single moment, and um, one with a pair should can also be there. So of course we we don't count this uh, one, and we don't count the divider. So it will be basically it will be a big O n, which is also linear uh, space complexity, and we want to make it better. So let's let's do it in the best way possible. Okay, so how can we do it better? We can use XOR operation, which is super not obvious. That's why I'll explain it later on. So uh, the implementation is very straightforward. We will uh, iterate through all the nums and apply XOR for every number. So we'll reduce the entire array to a single number with XOR operator. We'll return uh, nums reduce, which uh, will use accumulator and num for every iteration. And we'll just do XOR between um, accumulator and num. And that's it. That's submitted. Works like a charm. Uh, so, what is time complexity? Time, time, uh, so big O from N. So it's still linear, we still need to go through entire array, but the improvement is in space. So it's big O uh, from one, so it's uh, constant space. Yeah, we use a accumulator to um, hold the intermediate value, 
but still it's just uh, constant space so that's a drastic improvement so how does uh, xor helps us so xor is not very widely used but it allows some pretty nice tricks uh, let's first remind ourselves how does it work with single bits so we have uh, four cases and uh, in cases where bits are equal we as a result we get um, zero and when they are different we, we get one what what will happen if we'll xor two numbers for example xor three and three uh, let's represent three as in binary form as one one and uh, another three will be the same so let's do xor for these two numbers and uh, equal bits they will turn to zero and this will do the same so in the end we'll get zero and it will work for any two two numbers that are equal but the most un obvious thing is what will happen if we will get um, multiple XOR. So we have number A, which will XOR with B, and then we'll XOR it with A. But it will be B in the end. And the order doesn't matter. So if we'll do it like this, for example, A, A, B, We'll get the same and that's what we use for an array of such numbers so imagine an array with numbers like a c b a b if we we'll sort all of them in the end we'll uh, have a number that doesn't have a pair like this uh, if all other numbers have pair so a will uh turn into zero uh, with another a and b also will turn into zero with its pair so c will be the only thing that's left that's how our task can be achieved with reducing the entire array to single number using xor on every number in this array